What about the idea of non-credit micro-credentials, uh, ones that you talked about that will be recognized by future employers? Can you talk about how this could be bundled and, and give an example of how it would be eventually accessed and recognized through several institutions? Sure. Now, when you're talking about non-credential, that means the government of Alberta has, or the government of any province has not approved that for purposes of transcripting into a diploma degree program, which is our traditional approach. However, non-credit is becoming, I think, more important and we can offer that quickly, responding to employers uh, on an as-needs basis. These can be bundled and put together quickly and offered by continuing education um, faculties. So I see these as growing. I think they're more important because we're living in such a fast, accelerated environment in terms of what the employer needs. And we can use our knowledge of what the employers are looking for to bundle these for students. And they can get a certificate from the university that's actually issued by the university, the Polytech or the college that recognizes this bundle of micro-credential. So can you just quickly give an example of a student, maybe an art student? Yes. Well, an art student, for example, could really benefit, depending on their, their, their stream that they're looking at, with a technological kind of component, uh, such as a digital uh, media, social media component, depending if they're interested in communications, or they may be an English major who's looking at, at, at enhancing their ability to uh, work in an environment, a technological environment. So anything that might help them understand and work with social media. 